Hey, my name is Maria. I've made over $6 million with Sam Cart courses, and I'm going to literally create a step by step tutorial on how I did it. Number one reason why I love Sam Cart, and by the way, they did not sponsor me to make this video, but the number one reason I do love Sam Cart is because their pages are built for conversion. So their software is built so that you have a high conversion rate. So this is me this year. If I switch to all time in Sam Cart, it might take a minute to load, sometimes it does. Uh, nope, $6.6 .6 million. You can see here it really kicked off for me in 2020 and I've made about $6 million in that five year period. So I got nothing but good things to say about Sam Cart. Um, some of our pages convert as high as like 20% where the average conversion rate on a landing page is 2%. They're built for conversion. They're built for optimization, which is super different than Kajabi, super different than Stan Store. Don't get me started on those. Um, and I just want to literally take you into a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I would set a page up. So I'm going to go to products, new products. We'll call this um, our amazing product. And we set the price to 197, which by the way, is a sweet spot price for your low ticket stuff. So 197 is fabulous. Um, okay. So then what I tend to do is I tend to upload a product image right away. So we'll just use one of the ones I've already created. Gosh, this is like old stuff from a billion years ago. Uh, we'll just stick this guy in here. So I've got that there. Um, I think that is good. And then I click save changes just to save that. And then I go straight to my design tab. And then I tend to choose, just so you know, I tend to choose the two column. So a lot of my, um, a lot of my checkout pages have the two column or I use the startup, I think. I mostly just use the two column, but I think otherwise I'll use the startup. So then I go into save changes. And then what I do is just click the little blue design tab over here. And then we have our landing page. This is where the magic happens. So first thing I do is add a headline and I'm not going to fill it in. And then I add a sub headline, always do that. And then what I do is I tend to add, and I don't know if I have it on my computer or on this computer or not. Yeah, I do actually. Okay, so I tend to add this little five star image and then I set the uh, width, the height, I think to 10. Mm, let's try 30. Yeah, um, and sometimes what I do is I switch them like that. So like our amazing product and then I would probably make this closer to like 25 so it's all in one line. And then by the way, don't forget to switch for mobile for the headlines. Otherwise it'll look super big and look kind of weird. There you go. But it's only like for the headlines. I feel like they need to get adjusted in mobile. Okay. Then what you're going to do is add a product image. Super important. The majority of your landing page should be images and mock-ups, not text. So you should have 20% text, 80% images, just as like a loose rule of thumb. I've seen a lot of you guys' landing pages and it's so much text and that's why people aren't buying from you. So you got it like that. And then what I tend to do also is a little bullet thing. You can see how quickly I'm doing this because I've done this so many times. I know it works, right? So a little bullet point like this, I probably, I tend to do like six bullets. So it will look like this. Um, if you have seen any of my landing pages, you will already say, like, oh, this is like a familiar Maria style. Then I tend to have another like paragraph um, of text and then um, I tend to just like check the mobile tab super quickly to make sure it's looking good. One of the thing, one of the things I will tell you is I feel like Sam Cart has a lot of padding. So what I mean by padding is like that extra space there and that extra space there. So if you want to make that smaller, you can go to bottom padding and um, I'll just set it to zero sometimes. Um, but I don't think it's like that big of a deal. And in this case, I actually think it looks better to not have it. So just so you know, though, that's how you change that. That was like a big thing for me. Um, if you want to change the background color, I don't recommend that you do because I actually think, think it's much cleaner. But if you ever want to change the background color on something, you can just do that right here. Um, but if I do it, you'll see it just doesn't look good. So I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to do that if I can. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. So then uh, I tend to throw in one or two testimonials. That's optional. Um, if you don't have testimonials, don't panic about it. Um, but I'll tend to throw in one or two testimonials. And then what I'll do is check, um, like check in mobile again. Um, and then I'll just click publish. Um, I'm just going to pretend that this is as far as we get with the, um, 
the Sam Cart page. There's a couple other things in Sam Cart that I want to show you how to do. It's too complicated for a YouTube video. I do have a course on how to do this. Um, it's the part that takes like a $24 order and turns it into a $400 order. So it is very valuable, but I just want to show you where you would go to do it. So um, if you go to, let's just go to like one of my checkout pages. We'll go to like my, go to this one. It's like a newer one. So if you go to this one, you can see here, you have the option to add things to your cart, right? So like all of a sudden, if I just spent $97, now I'm going to spend $400, okay? And then there's also a way where you can do it where after they check out here, they have the option to be presented with more products. You may have seen me do that before. Those are called upsells. And that's where you make a ton of money from low ticket is through upsells. And so where you would go to add your upsells, you can see right here, if you go to the offers tab, you'll see upsells and funnel, and then you would add them right here. Um, and in the course that I have, I teach you how to pick the right upsells, how to price the upsells, how to put the upsells in the right order. All of that really matters. And we've done a ton of research on how to do that. So I will put the link to the course in the description. It's amazing. Um, but in case you don't want the course, no problem. You can just add them right there. That's how you know where to go to do that. And then the other thing that you should know is, um, let's go to integrations. So um, if you're connecting this to Kajabi, for example, so let's say you have your Sam cart checkout page and you want to connect it to Kajabi, which I think a lot of you will, because I host my cart courses in Kajabi. I think they're um, better than, I will say, I do think they're better than Sam carts courses. You can use Sam carts courses over here on the left. Um, but I do think Kajabi's courses are just better. I've had, I've tried to get on the Sam cart course bandwagon. I really have, because it'd be so much easier, but I just think they suck. Like I'm just, again, this, I'm not sponsored, so I can be honest. Like I just think Sam carts courses just suck ass right now. And so in the meantime, I hope they get better, but in the meantime, I use Kajabi courses. And so you kind of have to connect Samcart and Kajabi so that when somebody checks out with you on Samcart, you, they can um, get the access to the course on Kajabi. And so you would do that by clicking Kajabi and then you would grant offer. Now, this is what really got me stuck. This is what I wanted to show you. You choose e-commerce, but then you don't choose... Um, I don't remember which one it was that I choose, but you choose product purchased and then you click next step. And then I would pick, these are all my courses in Kajabi. I do have a lot of courses, um, but I would just, let's just say it's like this one here. And then you click submit. And if for whatever reason, um, let me just quickly show you one more thing. If for whatever reason you don't see your course in there, like you're like, I have this course. That was another big problem that came up. Um, so if for whatever reason you don't see your course come up, let me just show you what to do. You would just click that little refresh button and then it'll make it show up. So I just saved you like 10 years of research. So you're welcome. Then you're going to click save changes. And then this little button here can preview it. And then if you want to test to make sure that everything is working, you can turn it into test mode and click save. And then what you can do is like, if you preview it, you can actually use this fake credit card number. Um, and you can actually like check to make sure it works. So let's just put this in here. Actually, I'm not going to, cause I think it'll pop up my actual credit card info. So I don't want to do that, but you would just put the fake credit card info in right there. Um, and then one last tip I'm going to give you, if we go back to the design, I want to show you something, go into the design, um, just for your checkout process. If you go to checkout form, add the billing, shipping, e and email confirmation, um, because that's going to make it more likely for all the credit card info to go through. So if you don't request billing information, some credit cards are going to get denied and you lose sales because of that. So just go ahead and add that. And that is it. It's not hard. It's not complicated. Um, their landing pages convert so much better um, than anyone I've ever seen. There's, I mean, we didn't like spend too much time in the actual design side, but the way that you can really, really control each area, you can add videos, you can add icons, you can add FAQ sections and guarantees and testimonials. Like there's just so much control you can have. And that's where you take an average conversion page of like 2% and get to 20% the way we do. And my thing is like, if I'm going to send hundred people to a checkout page, I want to get those 20 sales, not those two sales. And so for me, Sam cart, super worth the money. It's not even that expensive. They don't charge you per like website view. A lot of places will charge you more if you have more traffic. So you literally get punished as your business grows. I have some software that does that to me. That's annoying. Sam cart just charges a flat fee. I'm going to put a link in the description to a couple things. One, the link to my Sam cart affiliate. I do get commission on it, but that's not why I made this video. And it will give you two weeks, I think, or three to 30 days. I can't remember which free trial, just so you can check it out. There's no pressure. That's not why I made this video. Um, but I don't mind getting commission if you guys use my link. 
Second thing I'm gonna do is similarly Kajabi. I'm sure you've heard of it. I can get you a free trial for Kajabi as well. So I'm gonna to link to that for your courses. And then third, I'm gonna to link to my course that I created on putting this all together and making a low ticket product that actually sells. That's called Passive Income with Instagram. I'm gonna link that in the description as well. Big fan of Samcart. I'm so grateful to them. They've been nothing but incredible to me. They did not ask me to make this video. They have no idea I'm making this video. Um, just super, super grateful to them because this has been, for me, Samcart has been a game changer. So thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Maria Went. Be sure to subscribe and make videos all the time on creating low ticket, making money with Instagram, growing on Instagram, all things, all things making money in fun, easy, non-stressful ways. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.